forward to this. Greetings, Valiant developers. I'm here from the Grind Night Beyond team to share with you the power of youth and the ultimate development environment for your projects. Let's turbocharge your productivity with Visual Studio Code. First things first, my youthful friends, let's install Visual Studio Code. This is the software that will propel you toward victory in your coding endeavors. Leap over to the official website here, linked in the description. And with the speed of a ninja, click on the download button for your operating system. We're going to open the executable and follow the installation wizard with the precision and finesse of a true shinobi. Once it's set up, go ahead and launch it. Nani? <clears throat> if it doesn't launch, you may need to run the program as an administrator. For a quick comparison, let's remember how the project looks in the default editor. Not great. To open your project in Visual Studio Code now, all you need to do is open folder. Navigate to your project folder and select it. Now let's click the extensions icon. You can see here that I already have six extensions installed. If you don't have these, you can use the search bar to look them up by name. Those names will be provided in the video description. Don't forget, after installing the extensions, restart Visual Studio Code. Prepare to be amazed, my fellow developers, as I unveil the benefits of using Visual Studio Code for your projects. Experience the lightning fast speed of IntelliSense, which provides smart suggestions and auto completions to help you conquer your code with ease. The built in keybinds here are a little bit different than the default editor. Instead of Control K to compile, we're going to Control Shift B. Enter. To run your project, press F5. But be careful of pasting code into your project. If you see dots here instead of arrows, many times that means the project is using spaces instead of tabs, or it's tabbed incorrectly. To fix tabbing errors, highlight the affected portions and shift tab. If this does not convert your spaces to tabs, and sometimes it won't, you'll need to do that manually. To do that, select the affected portion of the code or control A to select everything. Then click on view, command palette, and start typing in the word convert. You'll see we have an option here to convert indentation to tabs. I've also set up a hotkey for myself here, which you can do using the cogwheel. As you can see, we still have indentation errors. Those are very easy to see in Visual Studio Code and easy to correct. Control Shift V to compile, and you're set. There's a lot more that could be said about Visual Studio Code, and we'll cover it in a later video. But for now, I know many of you have asked how to install Visual Studio Code and how to use DreamMaker in Visual Studio Code. So there you have it, my fearless friends. The path to victory is now within your grasp. Embrace the power of youth. Take your beyond projects to new heights with Visual Studio Code. Now let's forge ahead and create the greatest games the world has ever seen. Good luck and stay youthful.